Hey guys, welcome back to DungeonGuru.net Auxiliary. This is Nethervoid again, doing another World of Tanks strategy series. This time I'm going to do it on the T40, which is a Tier 4 American TD. Um, this is pretty low tier, but I want, you know, while I've got this thing maxed out and I've got the vehicle, which I'll probably sell it after this video, um, might as well do a video on it and tell you some strategy about it. Um, if you haven't played any of the American TDs, the the first well at least before tier five because uh, so far I'm I'm playing the uh, the Wolverine and it's a little slow. These three tanks are super fast. Um, I kind of don't remember the T18 because you really only play this tank about one time, but the T82 is is crazy fast. It's like a it's like a scout. I mean that's how fast it is. I'm going like 45 kilometers per hour or something like that. The the T40 is similar. It's very fast as well. I think it goes about. 35 or so. Let's just look, I guess, because I have it here. 38. I mean, that's super fast. Um, so you can get in position quickly or move up, advance on the enemy if you've, uh, you know, jacked up w one of the lanes and you can move up really quick and uh, get some good shots on the next guys. Um, so let's start going over. Uh, let's see. On this, t on the TDs, I almost always just go for the tracks right away, and mainly this is because. Um, if you're, it, usually TDs, you're going to be engaging at, at range, but sometimes people will try to get close, and if they get up to the side of you on your tracks, obviously you're not going to be able to shoot them. So getting the tracks first is going to make you uh, be able to turn that tank quicker. Uh, in this case, not a lot, very much faster, but then again, with the uh, load limit, I think you also get more turning speed. So um, it's definitely get those tracks first. Right after that, I think I got, um, I'd probably go for the gun. I don't really, the engine's not a huge deal on TDs, in my opinion, just because they don't have to, they don't really move a lot. They're kind of like snipers in in, in uh, Call of Duty or something. You're supposed to sit back. At least that's how I play them. There is also another way to play them is Battle TD, where you kind of get it right up into the fight and uh, play like you would play a tank. I mean, not you're not like a front runner, you know, not, not like a heavy. But um, you get maybe right behind the heavy, like a medium kind of supporting them. Uh, I know a lot of ISU-152s do that and above. Um, the T-85 and 95 American TDs, their armor is crazy, so they can get up like that. As long as they're, they can pen the guy, or I mean track the guy or kill the guy before he can get to him, then they'll engage at that distance. is still pretty close for TDs. Um, so right after that, I'd probably go probably go down this gun line and go straight for the 76. Um, again, I like penetration on guns. Let's just look at the gun line here. I like penetration on guns. Uh, 128 pen, 115 damage. Just because, uh, and also very fast reload, uh, just because I know I'll hit people with it. Um, right now I'm trying this derp because people have been saying, well, the derp gun for this tank anyway. People have been saying, yeah, I tried the derps with HE, and uh, even though it has only 53 penetration, um, with that damage getting in all the nooks and crannies, uh, you'll end up doing a lot of damage. Um, so, so far, what I've I've played two games so far with this derp gun on it, and I'm really not that impressed. Mainly because these derp guns, the accuracy is is just not as great. Let's look at the difference here. I mean, I notice it, but so accuracy 0.48. Let's look at. Oops, that's my gun that I have on now. And accuracy 0.36, this is a lot better. So that's what, 25% better. Um, you don't notice it as much in the reticle. It just doesn't seem to hit the hit the bulls or hit the center of the reticle as often. Um, I end up hitting almost always at the edge of the circle, at at the edge of that reticle. I don't know why. It seems like it would be better. Of course, this crew is not that great, but you know I've got. I've got the derp now on the KV, and I played a couple of games with it. It's the same thing. I mean, I'm right up in the guy's face, and, and I'm hitting the ground and stuff. So I don't get it. Not only is that really not realistic, the guy's 100 yards away. I shoot him every time. No gun is that inaccurate. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It seems like they would be a little more accurate than that. But um, it's just kind of stupid. These guys are almost 100% though, and I shouldn't have that problem with this. Uh, another thing that could be contributing to it is I've noticed, and I don't know if this is part of a patch or what, but if you don't zoom in now, you almost never hit the center of the reticle. Like I know if you've seen my uh, the video I just posted about the VK3001 and that shot where I'm kind of going balls to the walls, driving straight in their face, 
that was like almost impossible shot. I haven't made one of those shots in like a month because I sh usually those shots will go at the edge of the rectangle or outside of the rectangle. I've actually seen that a lot where it's hitting somewhere outside of the rectangle. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try, try it again with this derp gun and a game and see how I do. I don't think it's going to go very well just because you have to be so close. Um, with this gun, I can sit way back and snipe from a distance, which I, to me, that's what TDs are all about. But, you know, I wanted to give this a try and uh, see what happens. Also, what's nice with this is since all I load with it is HE, I can go up against heavier targets and still know I'm going to pen them and do at least some damage, a pretty good amount, or not, not pen them, but I can, I can do some damage to them even though they're a lot higher than I am. Uh, engine, kind of obvious, get it, 10% more horsepower. The tracks are obvious, I already talked about that. Um, 370 is kind of not that much for, for, a, for a radio. Usually I, I like over the 400 mark, but I'm definitely not spending 33000 to get a 700. Um, plus you probably wouldn't even... You probably wouldn't even unlock this. It, it probably costs a lot of XP to unlock this. I probably unlocked it on the... American Heavy line, which I've already got up to the T29. Um, it's pretty easy to unlock this whole thing. I didn't spend much time on it. Uh, unlocking the Wolverine, I think, is... I can't even remember. It's not that much XP. It's pretty it's pretty easy to get. Um, one thing I, that this... Oh, another thing about the American TDs right now is they're seriously overpowered. Uh, they're gonna... They're, they have to nerf them, I, I would imagine. I've only played a few games in this tank. Let's look at my stats on this tank. Not that many. It's going to be way down the list here. Let's find this tank. T40. 27 games. Two top guns on 27 games. That is... What's it on, what, that? 8% or something like that? This, this tank is insane. Look at that. Nine kills in a battle. That's my highest out of all my tanks. Um, the win rate's pretty good, too. Um, the, this thing actually bounces a lot of of shots too. The armor is pretty good. Um, obviously if you do it from the side. I mean 51 is pretty good for tier 4 for hull on a TD. The sides you're gonna get nailed. There's no way no way around it. So um, with this tank if I'm at the top I'll try to um, really push hard and, and use my gun and use my um, opo overpoweredness of the American TDs to try to help us win. If I'm in the back I just try to snipe from range which doesn't help if I have a derp so for some reason, I have a camo net on this thing, which is weird because I have the T5, and I don't think I have a camo net on that, so I'll have to switch that next. All right, so I think I've talked about this enough. Uh, if you were going to get equipment on this thing, um, which I wouldn't do because it's a Tier 4, I guess just camo net, you can move it. Toolbox, if you got it, like I talked about in the other, the, uh, the other video I just did, you can move this thing around. It's great on low-level tanks where you don't have a... 100% crew. Binox, the same thing. You can move those around. Uh, this actually helps your view range, especially these low-level tanks. You can't see it from there. I doesn't even have it there. View range, view range. Oh, see, 460. That's ridiculous. But anyway, the Binox would put that up. It adds 20%, so that would put you at the 500 range, the max. So that'd be awesome, because really the, the suckiest part about this is a lot of times for TDs is they're too far away and you can't see them. So you definitely want to get that view range as high as possible. So I think I have Binox on on my uh, T29 right now just because I, I don't have all the mods for that thing yet. There it is. I'm not going to move it. So that's pretty much it. I don't use consumables to at least tier 5. All HE, not gold rounds. would be stupid. And let's just get this thing into a battle. Since we've got a little bit of time, one thing I did want to mention is uh, I've been messing around with a lot of skins lately. I posted a link on one of the sites that has a lot of skins uh, on the channel. And I also posted a mod. As you can see, I, I put a health mod uh, on my game because it makes it a lot easier to see what's going on. And with the damage, the combat text scrolling is really awesome. I've I've heavily modded it, though. You can, there's a little editor that comes with it. That's also on the site. There's a link on the channel. So... This game's going to be good because I'm in the middle of the pack with this big derp, so I should be able to, and we already had a guy decide this game wasn't for him, which, why, he's tier 3. This should be a pretty good game. You can see how, well, this one's not as speedy, so they must be slowing down a little bit. I'm going 37, that's still pretty fast. But man, that, um, 
The tank before this one is ridiculously fast. Why is nobody going over here? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll do the same thing I did in the Tiger too. Tiger uppercut in their face right here. Um, one other thing I've been trying to do, I didn't do this for a long time, I don't know why I didn't think about it, is when you're sitting in a TD, angle your armor. A lot of TDs will just go head on like this, and uh, that's not giving yourself any angling. You need to, see, there's that mod. That was my friend getting damaged right there. Um, angle your armor. Any kind of angling helps. Definitely learn that on the Tiger. It's the most boxy tank in this freaking game. Um, wow, we're getting juiced. This is not good. We're probably going to lose. Um, but anyway, I, I have tried out that KV Derp, like I was telling you guys. It, and even though I missed a lot in the last game I was in, I did get a hit on a uh, Type 59 and did 1137 damage. So he went from 100% to like 13. So that was, that's pretty amazing. We are really getting hurt in this game. So... The derp does work. It's just really hard to actually get a shot with the stupid thing before you get jacked up. Because you got to get right in the guy's face. Great if you're at the top. Not that great if you're in the middle, middle at the bottom. Just stick with it, somebody and let them shield you, I guess. Yeah, they're going to be coming around the mountain when they come. Ha ha. Nope, pretty soon they're going to be on us. So let me start kind of getting ready. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be sitting duck right here. Gonna be able to hide if they're coming around right there. Gotta get out of here. So I'm gonna try to go up here. Even though they're gonna win, this is makes it really annoying, man. Actually, I don't have time to get up there now. Let's see if I can screw up this ram. Ram has really stupid armor. Here he comes. Eh, not really. That was pretty horrible. If I had the other gun, it would have done a hundred and something damage. There we go. Still not crazy damage, but at least attract him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I track him again. There we go. I don't want that guy. Uh... Nope. Oh, he hit me. Great. Oh, yeah. Well, that you knew that was gonna happen. Let's get another game. So, um, we're out of that game now, and uh, one nice thing that you saw about this, you know, shooting HU out of the derp like that is, even if you hit the tracks, you're still going to do damage. You really, really mess up their um, components when you're shooting HU like that. But you know what? Let's try, uh, let's try this uh, much better penetration uh, gun right here, this 76mm. Uh, let's see what it can do. I'm going to change up my rounds here. That looks about right. Usually I like to go almost half HG on one of these lower tier tanks here. It's odd that I have to spend money because I just switched that gun out. Looks like there's no graphic for this gun. Interesting. The skin didn't come with a graphic for it. Okay, so let's get into a game. Glad we spawned on this side because I don't know the north side of this map very well. Uh, what I usually do if I'm in a, a TD or a medium is I go that way. I try to go around this back side right here. There's like a nice valley and a bunch of hills and try to jack people up on that side and then maybe make a breakthrough. If I'm heavy, I usually go for the city just because I can avoid already that way. Uh, it's nice to also come up in here and snipe down, but there's a, a chance to get flanked from both sides. To me, that's not very safe. I don't usually like to go for the middle of the map. It, just because it's so... It's just less predictable. Um, and every time I see people in the middle, they're just getting juiced. Or you're hiding the whole time, so... Unless you're spotting, I guess. It seems kind of pointless to me. I shoot guys in the middle all the time. It's like free XP and credits. Uh, so anyway, this mod is pretty sick. You can see all the information I need. There's actually more stuff that you can see, and I have it turned off. Like, you can get the vehicle silhouette, so you can see what kind of vehicle it is. But it already says Hetzer, so I don't know. Don't need that. The only thing I might add is the people's names, so I can see who's when someone talks. It's easier to see... Um, who's talking then rather than looking at that list. Let's see. I should probably hide. Try to get hold out. Oh, here we go. See? Guy in the middle. He's going to get juiced right away. Let's see. M3D. That should be easy enough, huh? Ah! Slugger. I can't get him. Thing on him. Here we go. What are they doing? 
should have hit that guy. See the fast reload? Much better. Wow, what happened? Just hit the dirt. There we go. Let's, jet. Let's get him out of the game. There we go, he's out of the game. These guys don't hit him in the turret. They're not going to penetrate him in the turret. That's what I found anyway. Look at that. See, I like this gun better. I can sit back, pick on guys, keep them at bay, and, and let the mediums and heavies go at it. Oh, oh, Artie. Nice. I always like to highlight the Artie and let everybody know that Artie's been spotted. Make sure I get rid of that freaking Artie. The Hetzer. That's not a bad TD. I don't know why people complain about it so much. I mean, it's not the T-40. This thing's beast. It's much better than the uh, Hetz. But, oh, we got here a stupid scout getting already. Hate these scout tanks, they're so annoying. There he is, going right for the Artie. Freaking scouts. Wow, that should attract him. Ah, he's on fire now. Ha <laughs> ha. These guys are so... They're just annoying. And they're so unrealistic. What kind of crap never happened in the war. Hey, let's drive out and suicide! Ah, oh, here we go. What's up, noob? He's dead. I think we're going Well, we might win this. I got juiced, man. I got hurt. I gotta stay back. Can't be getting hit like that. See, well, actually, I have almost the same amount of health as the hats are. Where the hell are they? Here's one of the problems with my radio. I can't see everybody because I only have 370 meters. Well, really, the, the radio gets relayed through your buddies, so maybe all their radios suck too. Here, let me move over here. See, here's that valley I was talking about. If you're a medium, this is a great spot to be. Not so much as a TD, but. It's just because right as I move out into that area over there, right in here, it's it's easy for everybody that's sitting over here camping. They're going to spot you and juice you. And a lot of times there'll be guys up here, so you're going to get crossfire and get jacked. There's a nice rock, but it's hard to hide behind just because T20, because uh, of that crossfire. The rock's not very big, so let's try to help this guy out. Wow, everybody's camping back there. Ooh, TD. What's up, Slugger? This must be the guy I was messing with. Oh! Damn. I hit him, at least. There we go. Don't don't put your side to people when you're in a, a TD. It's like TD 101 right there. Now I'm exposing... I might get juiced here, but let's try this. I can't let this guy walk up on our base. Alright. He's thinking he's gonna... I don't know who he thinks he's gonna find, but... Since there's no Artie, that was kind of a dumb move. There we go, right in between that uh, turret. Well, these things are hardy, though. Uh, let's go to HE on this guy, he's pretty low. Yeah, I can juice his gun. There we go. Now he's only got a Hetz and me. Well, we got a T29. He should be. There we go. T29 smoked that guy. Switch back to AP. Hmm. I don't know. I think we're going to lose. I should really hide. Much better than this. They know where we are. Everybody that's played this map knows their TDs are right behind these stupid houses. Here comes a scout. He's going to scout for his buddies. They're all probably over in the um, town over there. It's really hard to hit those guys. Ah, here we go. Wow, he's hole down deep. I'm not going to be able to get him. I need to hide more. Kind of sitting wide open. Wow. Jacked him up. Need to get in these bushes. 
There's probably guys... Wow, I didn't hit him? Alright, let me come over here. Should be able to hit him from here. Maybe behind these rocks. If I can... Somebody spot him, dude. Oh, oh! Someone's coming up right behind us. Please do not hit me. Oh, that stupid Sherman doesn't even see me. There we go. See this gun? I like I, I like this gun better. Ooh, man art. He's almost dead. You're dead. It also aims faster. You're gonna die, bro. Oh, I missed him. Come on, lead the target, dummy. Oh, okay, that went right through him. Do you see him hit behind? Damn, about time. Jeez. I'm surprised they haven't come up to this location we're at right now. Oh, another freaking scout. Oh, he's dead already. Wow, T29 is almost dead. This house is kind of getting in my way here. Should really not be moving as much as we're moving. It's going to be easy to see us, and I'm going to get hit if somebody comes from that side. Oh, here we go. What's up, KB? So let's Mechi and screw up his gun. Six damage. That's horrible. I don't need to penetrate. It's HE, bro. Oh, if we kill him, we got this. Need to track him. Wow, this is an amazing comeback. Now, they're going to expect me to go in this valley. They're going to be watching, and Artie likes to sit here, so I'll probably... Oh, oh, oh! Maybe not. What are they doing? I guess they're in it to win it. Wow, they already got him. Wow, this is not going to be good. Alright, I'm going to come down here and scout our base. Hetzer, please don't follow me. Just sit there. I hate it when it gets like this. As soon as he spots me, Artie's going to be on my face. Should be good right here, though. Because Artie's not going to be able to hit me. Now I'm spotting for us. Come on, pop out, bro. Pop, pop it, pop it. He's going to come out right there. Come on. Mm, he is, but my buddy's in the way. I can't see him. Why did he come down here? A noob. It's alright. Come out. Maybe he has a derp on that thing. Here he goes. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Wow, he, he missed. He missed. Killed him. Kill 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 him. Nice. He missed me. Ha ha. Whoa, that guy almost didn't miss. He's going to be close because priests have really short ranges. But if he sees us first, it's going to be over. But... Yeah, going up on a hill. Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh, now he's all down. Damn it. He's running. Um, that might help us, but they like to turn around a lot and just smack you in the face. Happens all the freaking time to me, and it's really annoying. So I need to be a little, a little bit... I need to try to be safe. About this, I don't think I'm gonna be. Oh, there he is. See, if I had this derp, that would not have happened if I had the derp gun. That's why 
This gun's better, in my opinion. 1400 experience, nice. Not even to double. I can't believe I didn't get a sniper on that. Almost got a top gun. Anyway, that's what makes this gun insane, so <laughs> that's why I would get that gun. Later, guys.